Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has two feasts, two parties for his servants. In two occasions, you are Zayfullah, you are the guest of Allah. One is the moment you have the tawfiq to go and do hajj. The, while you are in hajj, in hajj or umrah, while you are in the sanctuary of Allah, you are the guest of Allah. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, 125, Remember when we made the house a place of reward for people, mankind, and a sanctuary. وَاتَّخَذُوا مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى So take the venue of prayer from the position of Ibrahim. وَعَهِدْنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَائِيلَ أَنْ طَهِّرَا بَيْتِيَ لِلْتَائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِينَ وَالْرُكَّ السُّجُودِ Then I commanded Ibrahim and Ismail to purify my house for the comers, who, those who come to do ibadah and prostration. So, one occasion that you are guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> while you are doing hajj, <coughs> while you are in the sanctuary of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are the guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the hadith Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam, in the hadith is in In the book, Ila al Sharaya, Shaykh Sadduq rahmatullah alayhi mentions volume 2, page 443, and his Sadr alayhi salam, in the Masa Allah who saw Elon, somebody asked him alayhi salam, Lema kare has siyam of the ayam at Tashrik. Why it is makruh to fast while you are uh, doing Hajj ayam at Tashrik, those three days that you are in sanctuary? Why you have this makruh to fast? Imam alayhi salam said, Lan al Gomazu varullah, because people are visitors of Allah, Wahum as Yafuhu Bafizia Fatehi, they are the guest of Allah. وَلَا يَنْبَغِي لِلزَّيْفَ أَنْ يَسُومَ إِنْدَ مَنْزَارَهُ So it doesn't suit for the guest while they are suiting to, uh, suiting, uh, visiting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fast. So when the place has prepared for you the feast, you don't need to fast. Allah doesn't want you to fast because it's a blessing. Sometimes there are blessings coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a reward. Like when you make Salat Qasr while you are traveling. The hadith is ascribed to Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam. Somebody asked, why we should uh, make our Salat Qasr when we are traveling? He said that, the guy said that, I traveled, but I didn't, I was not tired. The journey was not in a, in a way that makes me tired, to make me tired. So why should I make my Salat Qasr? Imam alayhi salam said, it's a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you don't want to accept, it's a root act, not to accept a gift from Allah. Now you are traveling by airplane, you're not tired at all. So you say that, why should I make qasr? Imam said, it's a gift. This is how you have to worship Allah. Allah says, when you are traveling, I don't want you to make salat food. You have to make it qasr. If you are a servant of Allah, you say, chashm, on my eyes, whatever you say. So, when you are in the, you have the tawfiq to be in Mina, to be in sanctuary in, in Masjid al-Haram, to be in Mecca, in Haram, in its uh, general uh, limit, then you are the guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The other occasion that we have honor to be guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that was a, a, a place. Haram is a place. A place makes you guest of Allah. Now, the other one is the month of Ramadan. That time makes you a guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those who have ma'rifah, those who know what, be, what uh, does it mean to be guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will not be happy when the month of Ramadan is ending. Imam Zain al-Abidin alayhi salam, just look at the ma'rifah, the difference that he has and we are far from them. Imam alayhi salam, when he is talking about Vida, saying farewell to the month of Ramadan, he says, anna. We are in a kind of fear, we are in a kind of anxiety, in a kind of, in a kind of uh, worry that the month of Ramadan is ending. 
For us, it's Eid, happiness. Tomorrow, alhamdulillah, it's done. We don't need to be hungry anymore. As-salamu alayka ya shahar Allah al-akbar wa ya Eid awliya'ah. We are going to say farewell today. As-salamu alayka means goodbye. As-salamu alayka ya shahar Allah al-akbar, the great month of Allah, wa ya Eid awliya'ah. For us, the first day of Shawwal is Eid. For Imam Zainul Abidin, the whole month of Ramadan is Eid. So if you have the Ma'rafah of Imam Zainul Abidin, the first day of Shawwal is not Eid. It's Eid because you are going to be gifted according to what you have acquired in the month of Ramadan. It is Eid because of the month of Ramadan. But the real Eid was the month of Ramadan itself. For those who have Ma'rafah.